Well, you know, usually you go through uh, introductions, but we don't need any. I'm just going to say, Johnny Depp, what did you think? You've just, you've just been around Dun and Thomas's birthplace. Yes. How do you respond? I'm, I'm still, uh, I'm still a little, um, um, yeah, yeah, still floating a little, <clears throat> having been in the room where, um, where Andre Milkwood began and uh, so many poems were written. Um, so yeah, dumbfounded, but, well, but, but very, very, it's such a strong, uh, well, as we got, during this visit, what you get to, you get to see where his thoughts came from and so it's a lot to take in, you know, Absolutely. if you're, if you're a, a fiend like I am. <laughs> yeah. So how long back does your association with interest in Dylan go? Oh, my brother, uh, my, my older brother, uh, when I was a kid, <clears throat> uh, he turned me on to all these really writers that I wasn't ready for, when, you know, when I was <laughs> yeah. about 10, um, 12, you know, he turned me on to Jack Kerouac and then oh, wow. uh, Ginsburg and all this, this sort of beats and then on, on to other things and then um, Dylan uh, Thomas was uh, uh, was uh, it was the, the first it was uh, that he gave me as a kid portrait of the artist as a young doll. Ah, right. Um, so that was the first, um, and then of course the poetry, you know, the do not go gentle into that good night, all the, the stuff that is, just takes your head apart. But um, then uh, uh, under Milkwood, the first time, well, under Milkwood was the one that really grabbed me, and I. And it was maybe a combination of um, the brilliance of Dylan Thomas's um, uh, his his capabilities with language and words um, and description. The combination of that <clears throat> and Richard Burton's um, incredible that voice, the presence of his voice, and how he. Yeah, Richard Richard Burton would, would become the entire um, play, as it were. Yeah, they were kindred spirits, weren't they? Without question, yeah. He's he's the he's the one that gets the humor the best, I think. Yeah, he yeah. It's the, the really dry sort of. But he was he was a lot like that. Yeah, yeah. Was, was he from Swansea? He was from Patolbert, a few miles down the coast, that's all. Mm. Same place as Anthony Hopkins as well. Oh, that's right. And, and uh, Michael Sheen. Oh. Three from the same area, which is quite unusual. But yeah, but it's been a real joy oh, man. to have you here. It's been a, it's been a, a great honour. Thank yeah. you so much. Absolutely. And, yeah, absolute uh, pleasure. And oh. obviously you really, really appreciate the land. Listen. And now we've been where he's born. I, I, I highly <laughs> recommend... <clears throat> to anybody who has like a, a dilemma of falling asleep, turn the lights out, put on Richard Burton reading under Milkwood and fall asleep to that. But that's in Just a good way. Focus on that. Oh, it's the best. No, no that's, <laughs> yeah. the, that's the best sleep I've ever had from by listening. I mean, you know, I mean, I would do this, I'd do this for like all the time, like years now. Yeah. I listen to it and listen to it. Wow, you still yeah. do it? Still, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, um, at least a few times a week, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, right. Now you've been where the and man was born. Yeah, and, and, and walked, walked his, uh, his steps a little bit. It takes a while to Thank take you. it in, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think this is going to stick with me for a while. <laughs> Till the next time I come back, I imagine. Well, we're, you're welcome. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much, man. Thanks Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. very much. Oh, not at all.